This is my Taurus 856 Ultralight Revolver. Caliber 38 Special. It is plus P rated. You used to be able to get these revolvers pre-2020 for uh, about 275 bucks, which I think is a pretty good price and decent revolver for the money. I just bought this um, a couple weeks ago, so I paid a bit more than that, but not not too extreme. I still think I got a decent gun for the money. These guns come in a variety of color combinations. This is just a plain black. Uh, it's a good pair with my uh, Browning High Power, color-wise. I do like the other color combinations, but didn't see any available locally, and this is good for now. One thing I like about this Taurus revolver is that it does not have a key lock anywhere on the gun. The Taurus puts their key locks on the hammer, back of the hammer, which I prefer over how Smith & Wesson puts it right above the cylinder release. I personally do not want to buy a modern Smith & Wesson revolver for that reason. I feel that they're a bit overpriced for what they are. I do have a decent collection of some vintage Smith & Wesson revolvers in their copies, and I do love those. This is a six-shot 38 Special. And these are empty cases, by the way, so don't freak out about that. I put some white paint on the front sight to help me pick it up a little bit better. Trigger. Double action. It's nice and heavy. It's not gritty. It's not the best, but it's certainly not the worst. Single action. It's pretty nice. The new grips at least on these models of Taurus revolvers, I believe the uh, the 38s and 357s, they got a new rubber grip that uh, is pretty good. I like it a lot better than the uh, old style with the uh, little bumps on it. Wasn't really a fan of that. I had a Taurus model 65 357 that had that grip and it it's fine. I don't really like how it looks and it doesn't feel the best, but it was at the point where do I really want to spend more money on this revolver to put a nice grip on it when the one that's on it works? And so, ended up not. Ended up selling that gun to a friend. This grip's a much improved, in my opinion. Ammo I'm carrying in it right now is this Federal 38 Special Plus P Punch Ammo. Can't remember the grains. I want to say is like 135 or 138 or something like that. Got six in the gun, six on a HKS speed loader, and then six more on a speed strip. And then this is just some um, Winchester semi-jacketed soft point that I found, and I figured that's a decent enough last resort round. I had some of these. I can't remember, I think it's Inceptor or some Interceptor, something like that. Polymer and Copper Dust Mix Bullet. This is like a 90 grain or something like that. Pretty fast, but uh, from what I've seen online, uh, at least on one test of the ammo, the ammo would break up after fired and kind of not hit on target with its full force. So that's not very ideal. I put, um, had a box of 20 and I shot 17 rounds of it and it worked fine. It was pretty accurate. I did test two rounds on target to see where I was hitting with it on this carry ammo and uh, hit right where I was aiming so that's good enough for me. I've only put about 20 or so rounds through this gun which is not a lot but it is 2021 so yeah you know. Uh, I'm, com I'm comfortable with it. I know where it's hitting. I'm pretty sure it's going to work. It hasn't broken yet. So, I'm confident. 
we'll put more rounds through it when it's more affordable. Uh, another another good backup defense round I got is these Federal Premium. These are actually pretty vintage. I think they're from the 90s. Uh, wad cutters. Uh, so they're I've shot these before. They're very accurate. Smooth recoiling. So I think that's a decent. Um, if you can't find hollow points, I would go with a wad cutter over the full metal jacket or lead round nose ammunition. Um, these speed loaders, um, they're not, they require a little bit of training. I'm getting better at it. I'd like to pick up one of those where you just press the button and drop them in, but I haven't found one of those yet. These speed strips are mainly just to keep the rounds uh, from being loose in my pocket. Uh, they require a bit of training to get reloading those good. Holster I'm using is this Kydex uh, holster I picked up on eBay. Works pretty good, solid. Uh, I carry an appendix. Um, not worried about blowing my dick off with a heavy double action trigger, so there's that. Fit and finish on this revolver is uh, not bad. Um, I don't really have any complaints, I will say though. There was a bit of rust on the chamber, into the chamber, and then just a little spot on the inside of the chamber. Cleaned up with some ballistol in a couple minutes, no big deal. Not something you want to see on a brand new gun, but you know, it is what it is. So overall, I'm pretty satisfied with this revolver. It's nice and light. It is the ultralight. And it is a six round. When I bought it, I actually didn't know that it was going to be a six round. I was assuming it was a five rounder, like the 85, but that was a nice surprise. Really, uh, for a cheap revolver that in this price range, its only competition is the Rock Island Armory Model 206 revolver. And uh, my friend had one of those back in 2016, and it worked fine. Uh, it was kind of cool. It almost looked like a military revolver with its parkerized finish and uh, wood grip. Uh, it was a solid revolver, but I have seen some problems with them. And uh, they don't seem to be that great of quality. I would definitely put Taurus above them. I held one of the uh, Rock Islands recently. And uh, it was so rough, it was almost funny. And I almost wanted it because it was so bad. The barrel crown was like rough to the touch very rough to the touch it's like they just sawed that barrel off it what it looked like to me was it was a four inch model rock island armory and they just said well snub nose is in more demand right now so let's just cut that barrel off there and send it on its way and they wanted 300 for that those used to be 250 bucks but um yeah getting a little bit long-winded here but this is a solid revolver for the money. If you do have a problem with it, uh, just send it back to Taurus and they will fix it. And that's not something you want to have to do, but you know, whatever. All right, I think that's it.